you can hear this episode commercial-free, along with hundreds of others from Calaroga Shark Media on Apple, Spotify, or many other players. Just click the link in the show notes for more info. Calaroga Shark Media. Hi, and welcome to Taylor Swift Today, a short roundup of all the headlines around Taylor's music, tours, movies, and life. Buckle up, Swifties, because we have a lot to unpack. First up, some heartwarming news from the Eras Tour. Taylor Swift herself took a moment to shower her fans in Lyon, France with love during a recent concert. Apparently, the European leg has been treating her well, and it all culminated in a truly special moment. So, it looks like we have officially had a rain show tonight. This is a rain show for sure. Taylor's voice rang out over the crowd, a hint of laughter in her tone, according to a fan video circulating online. That is set. That is permanent because it doesn't matter if it rains again. It really did rain during the show. Seated at a moss-covered piano, a detail that would surely spark creativity on fan art blogs everywhere, Taylor continued, You guys are absolute champions and heroes for dancing even harder when it started raining. The roar of the crowd must have been deafening because she added, I saw that with a smile. This love fest didn't stop there. Taylor, known for her genuine connection with fans, also expressed her gratitude for the European welcome. She even dipped into French to check on a fan in the audience, showcasing her efforts to connect on a deeper level. Yeah, we have to take care of these crowds because you're just the best and you just dance so wildly and sing so loudly, she said, pure appreciation in her voice. Speaking of the Eras tour, a recent concert in Lyon provided a dash of playful self-awareness from Taylor. During the acoustic section, known for surprise set list choices, Taylor performed a piano mashup. This time it featured a classic fearless track, 15, cleverly blended with You're On Your Own Kid from her most recent album, Midnights. Eagle-eyed fans, or maybe just fans with a deep understanding of Taylor's lyrics, couldn't help but react to a specific line in 15. The song, a nostalgic look back at teenage dreams, includes the lyric, In your life, you'll do things greater than dating the boy on the football team. This, of course, sparked a moment of amusement considering Taylor's current relationship with NFL tight end Travis Kelsey. The video cuts to Taylor acknowledging the reaction with a quick grin and a laugh, proving she can take a lighthearted jab at herself, especially when it comes to her personal life. Speaking of Travis Kelsey, here's a story that might have Swifties buzzing. A video from a charity event shows a comedic skit where Jason Sudeikis, everyone's favorite mustachioed coach from Ted Lasso, playfully grills Kelsey about his relationship with Taylor. Dressed in sports fan attire, Sudeikis and his fellow comedians nudge Kelsey about popping the question, even referencing a recent controversial speech by a Kansas City Chiefs kicker who suggested women prioritize marriage and children over careers. Needless to say, Kelsey handled the situation with an awkward chuckle, likely relieved when the skit ended. More in a moment. Moving on from the world of celebrity romance, Let's celebrate a Swifty who combined her love for Taylor's music with academic pursuits. Reagan Kay, a law student in Scotland, chose a truly unique topic for her dissertation, Taylor Swift's re-recorded albums and copyright law. A self-proclaimed massive lover of Taylor's music, Reagan saw the perfect opportunity to merge her passion with her academic goals. She even has tickets to the upcoming Edinburgh leg of the Eras Tour, so you know she's a dedicated fan. Reagan explained her dissertation by saying, I'll explain it how I explain it to my mom, which involved breaking down the situation where Taylor lost ownership of her masters due to a record label deal signed when she was just 15. Fueled by both her love for the music and a desire to specialize in copyright law, Reagan spent nine months researching the topic, all while listening to her favorite Taylor tracks. Because, hey, technically, it was research, right? The completed dissertation, a whopping 10,000 words, is now submitted and Reagan awaits her results on June 11th, just two days after the final Edinburgh concert. Talk about a power move, Swifty style. Finally, let's shift gears to the world of music critics. Taylor's latest album, The Tortured Poets Department, has been a commercial juggernaut, but reviews haven't quite reached the usual sky-high praise. One sticking point, the sheer length of the album, clocking in at a hefty 31 tracks. 
Enter Billy Corgan, the enigmatic frontman of the Smashing Pumpkins. Corgan, no stranger to lengthy albums himself with their epic double album, Melancholy and the Infinite Sadness, recently came to Taylor's defense in an interview. Taylor Swift is one of the most gifted pop artists of all time, Corgan declared. How is it a bad thing that she's releasing more music? He challenged listeners who find the album daunting to simply skip the songs they don't like. Corgan humorously compared it to creating your own playlist, suggesting a little listener agency can go a long way. People complained about the length of my last album, Autumn, he said. I thought, well, just go make your own playlist. Just listen to the record one time. Rag over the six or ten songs you like and make your own record. Why is this such a strange concept? Corgan concluded his defense with a pointed observation. This hyperbolic thing. They ruined Star Wars. My God, this is all too much for me to process. It's all a bit childish, he said. So there you have it, Swifties. From heartwarming concert moments to playful self-awareness, a law student's academic tribute, and a fellow musician's staunch defense, Taylor Swift continues to dominate the headlines. This is just a taste of what's swirling around the world of Taylor this week. Don't forget to follow us on your preferred podcast app and leave us a rating or review to let us know what you think. We appreciate you tuning in to Taylor Swift today. Some production may have been created with the use of AI, but remember... The ingredients are 100% pure Taylor love. <laughs>